sketch enthusiast. Welcome back to our sketching extravaganza. Today we're kicking off with a classic, the crew neck. Get ready to sharpen those pencils and ignite your imagination as we unravel the secrets behind this timeless neckline. Prepare to embark on a journey filled with creativity and precision. Are you ready to sketch your way to greatness? Let's dive in. Originally worn by sailors in the early 20th century, the crew neck was designed for practicality and comfort at sea. Its rounded neckline allowed for ease and movement while providing warmth in chilly maritime conditions. Over time, the crew neck transitioned from naval uniforms to everyday staple. Hello, my name is Donna Malavi. I am Tina's student. So she will be starting just like you are from scratch. And you're going to watch step by step and you're going to go along and learn with Donna as she's learning. I cannot wait to see all your work for your next lesson, which is technical sketches. The three T rule is basically turning your body into the T shape. That's your center front and center back line. That's your T. Now this here is that horizontal line. So we're dotting this, we're gonna dot the shoulder, and we're gonna dot the front neck drop and the center back neck drop. Mm -hmm. All right. And you have a shoulder slope. See how your shoulders are not square like a box? Mm -hmm. They slope. Designers in New York, all we do is do technical sketches all day. Which is kind of what you're gonna do. You're gonna grab your sheet with the crew neck first. We're gonna start with that. You see how I have T's here? You're gonna get your little uh, Wiscott ruler that you got in your kit along with your book. Get rolls of tracing paper. You just cut a piece that's gonna be over that little 3T rule. We start with the 3T rule. All right, and we need some tape. And you're gonna tape it right down on here. I want you always to in get used middle. to taping in the middle and in the bottom. An eraser. eraser, it's a white Statler or a white eraser. Look for these, because this yeah. is what you're gonna need for pattern making. Any 2E pencil, make sure you got a sharpener. And you need tracing paper. Now holding this ruler, you're gonna use your three fingers. I taped the tracing paper over one of the finger spread. This holds this from sliding. Mm -hmm. Line it up lightly, not too heavy. Turn it with the three fingers. Line it up on the number three. And then go from left to right. Place this. You see how light my T is? You can go like this, it's CF and CB for center front, center back. This is your horizontal line. So you can say that's your shoulder. Your horizontal line is your shoulder, shoulder. So we're gonna start with a crew neck. Make sure my paper's nice and clean. Lining it up with number three, and you're gonna count one, three eighths left and three eighths right. Three eighths is one, two, three, make a dot on that line. One, two, three, and make a dot. That is your neck opening. So that's what you're, you should look like. Line up three with the dots. three again and go over one inch. That would be on number two and number four, left and right. So you should have your three eighths here and then one over is an inch. That's your shoulder point to point. So that would be your shoulder. Point. Neck drop. Remember it's a half a circle. So if it's three eighths here, three eighths here, we're going to line it up number three again. And we're going to dot one, two, three, and make a dot. So you see, that's going to shape a circle. Now we're going to go back over here. We're going to add our shoulder slope. Remember, we, I said we're not like robot. Our shoulders are not totally straight like a straight line. We have a slope. So we're going to line this up. I'm going to go down to make a dot on the left and then line it up with the dot, shoulder dot. Do one eighth inch down from the other dot. Everybody I've noticed too, my students, they like to put the ruler at the top. Always have the ruler down. There's your high shoulder point. That's the only point that connects on that T line. Now, your shoulder connects from your high shoulder point, which is this, and it matches up with your shoulder slope. So let's draw a line in both sides. And there you go. I'm gonna make a circle 
because the crew neck is a circle. I'm gonna do a light one on this side. I'm gonna do another one on this side. Now, I like that side better. Whatever side better you like, you erase like the it. other side. I erased the side because I didn't like that side, but I do like this curve better. Mm -hmm. So then off, mm -hmm. you fold it on the center front line mm -hmm. by grabbing the end here, mm -hmm. then press toward the middle. Mm -hmm. And you'll get it folded perfectly. Mm -hmm. Now I like this side better. We I'm gonna trace it on the other side. So you see, I traced the good side to the other side. Blend it in. We also have, this is your center front neck drop, but we also have a center back neck drop. Your, your neck, your clothing is not straight across, is it? No. So it's got a curve. Your center back, you're gonna tape it back on there, line it up, make sure it's all lined up. I'm gonna do my center back neck drop, which is about one eighth. Remember we talked about how the back is, is higher than the front. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna draw one curve here, one curve here, and that one doesn't look good. I like that one better. I'm gonna fold it on the other side and blend it. Crew neck has a rib trim. So in order to get the rib trim, this is also what I do for pattern making. Grab your ruler like this with your pointy finger. You're gonna be using this a lot like this for adding seam allowance and everything. I want this exactly the same. So I'm gonna line up my eighth inch on the curve. The little straight lines, you're gonna also draw in tiny little straight lines. And I slowly bring and follow this curve on your eighth inch and do it little by little, just like when you sewed circles, circles are made of tiny little straight lines. So if you're gonna go around and make a crew neck or a band or anything around a neck, you wanna keep it the same. So I'm gonna slowly guide my ruler, keep the one eighth on this curve and slowly move my way around. To draw the perfect curve. Do that. Just draw that. Like just no, not freehand. You'll never that. get it perfect like that. And again, you can turn around and fold it. And as a designer, that's what you do. Mm -hmm. In the industry, you're always doing technical sketches. Mm -hmm. Fine. So when you send it off to a factory on a spec sheet, which of course you're gonna clear. download the spec sheet, that technical sketch will go here. So you just want to get that one technical design as perfect as possible. It's so then whenever you send it to the factory, they know exactly what to do and then they can make replicas of it. That's have. right. But if you need to, just smooth it out. Mine had a little jagged edges, right? Now you also have a, a center back neck trim. It's not just the front, right? You wanna do the same thing here on the back neck with your ruler. So you see, I have now the center back trim there. How do you tell the difference between the back and the, and the front? You said this is the back part, correct? Your back neck drop. So well, because it's higher than the front. That's the center back neck drop. Because when you put a t-shirt flat down on the table, you're going to see the back and then you're going to see the front neck drop. Oh, I see what you're saying. But then what is this piece right here? That's your top of your front neck drop. You have a t-shirt in your closet? Because I like the fact that you're asking me these questions because I'm sure that you guys at home are going to be asking the same. That's why it's great to have Donna here because these are the questions I, might, I won't know if you're going to be like, what's this, what's that? All right, so she's asking me what is this line here now? That was your center front neck drop. You see the difference between, see the lines? This is a rib trim. Mm -hmm. This is not the same fabric as this. This is jersey, mm -hmm. it's flat, but you can see the rib. Well, I was asking more about like this line that goes in the middle right well, there. Yeah. Oh, okay, so, so this you is just the drew, back. Yeah, this is the top, the bottom of the rib. See how you can see it? So this, this, is flat. this right here is the back piece. But yeah. you can still see the back and the front. So is this the rib too? Yes, you have to right finish here. drawing it. That's uh, the rib. But that's good because I automatically just take it for granted. <laughs> I mean, I'm learning how to draw technical sketches from you. I didn't draw it technically before. But when I draw my designs, I always label them. You can identify that that is actually a technical sketch of yes. the rib trim t-shirt. Yeah, cool. Grab anything and lay it flat on the table. Mm -hmm. You're going to be able to see the back and the front, mm -hmm. and it connects here. And even here, there's another piece right Well, yeah, that one has this extra thing to hide the seam because mm -hmm. t-shirts need the extra support here. Mm -hmm. Like, this is Tommy Bahama. You won't get the, the look no. of this 
you won't find it in a normal t-shirt. They will have it looking like this. They added the extra piping. It makes it more comfortable. And that's why you pay more money for Baham of the that. fact of the extra detail. That's extra it's work. It's just soft too. And now I'm gonna add my rib by the middle, the front, right on my center front line. I'm gonna do a little line here. I'm gonna, do an, I'm gonna go around like this and add in my rib trim on my neck, which is all t-shirts have a rib trim. And as you can see, I'm starting to add that in. You see the lines? That's your rib trim. Because it is a little sloppy. So what you do is you take now so your a thin Sharpie. I have one with both ends. And now you go over it and make sure it's nice and clean and want flowing. You gotta go over the lines that you know you want and then connect and connect. You want your shoulder dot to dot. You want a nice clean curve because what you're gonna do is you're gonna erase all your pencil lines. Try to keep them as even as possible. And again, that straight line should be straight down. You can always start this way and go the other way around. Start middle, work your way. Remember, it gets a little, it's not dry yet, so try to take it slow. I'm doing it a little quicker than normal, just to show you. That's the crew neck. And then what you're gonna do is blow on it let it dry and then erase all the pencil lines, including center front line. What I do is I go back in with the next level up Sharpie and I go like this very carefully around here to clean it up. Again, use your lines there. That's your crew neck. And I'm gonna show you what a really nice clean crew neck looks like. That's what it should look like in the end. Tina has empowered me a lot through the years. I've just grown of doing fashion and I've been here for at least three years now.